When I was little, I was quite ill, and so I didn't get outside and play like most of the kids, and, and so I learned how to play tea party on my lap, and so I had tea with, um, with all sorts of imaginary creatures, and I just never grew up. When I was nine years old, I woke up one morning, and my parents said, wake up, we, uh, we're getting on a plane, and we're going to move to Cairo. And we did. I rode on camels. I went on boats on the, the Nile River. I got to climb on the pyramids themselves. Dance has always been a part of my life. I used to tap dance on the sidewalk for the neighbors across the street when I was little. And they would sit in their lawn chairs and watch me. My husband and I love to do things together, whether it's making costumes and problem solving on those. We're big fans of anime and we love discussing stories and characters and getting to know these other worlds. We do have a very creative and diverse team. You have Mary Alice Higby, who's a classically trained Japanese porcelain artist. She is our culture and what we represent, grace, civility, beauty, gentility, and excellence. She, she comes alongside us and shows us how to exhibit those things in life and with other people. Ondine is so creative. She's a presenter. Uh, she creates these unbelievable costumes that take you know, 400 hours to create. Olivia is, um, she's so much of a, a people person. She's the one who keeps people going, keeps them together. She goes home in the evening, she goes and teaches dance classes to little kids. Daniel is the architect. He really just kind of gets behind the tea room and moves it forward. For Daniel, cardistry is an experiential art form that he can just take with him wherever he goes. And so he's learning ways to bring magic and wonder into everyday life. What each of us does is something that maybe another person can't do or doesn't do as well. And we also have such a feeling of family all together. Magic is a concept we talk a lot about at the tea room because magic is a personal experience that embraces both a context and a story and ends with delight that comes from a pleasant, unexpected surprise. This is truly our goal for the experience anyone receives at the tea room. In our culture, we, we do have enemies. Some of the biggest enemies are the fast pace, the heavy pressure, the noise, distraction. All these are enemies that would steal the best from us and replace it with mediocre. And that's not the type of story that, that I want to live and I think it's not the type of story that most people want to live. We live in a world where everything is so fast paced, so rushed, everything's so busy. Everything takes away from enjoying the moment, enjoying the people that we're with. We are a countercultural element in our society. A big thing about going to the tea room is having a connection with somebody. And you can just sit and relax and enjoy each other's company. The tea room is a place where you can come and feel like you have found sanctuary. A place that you can go, that you can be yourself, that you can really thrive as the individual person that you were made to be. A place where you can find rest, where you can reconnect, reunite with your loved ones, and just enjoy the moment, enjoy the relationships with them. If I'm going to have any impact in this world, I need friends. Friends who are pointed in the same direction, who are intent on the same goal. Friends of the tea room are employees and guests, but we all are working towards the same thing, and that's bringing something into society that's missing. I think so many can relate to feeling battered and beaten in our society, you know, being treated harshly and impersonally, which is why having a sanctuary like the tea room, where civility reigns, where it's a refuge for relationships, where soul rest can flourish, is so important. I think that we all need little windows in time and gaps where we can sit down and just share a pot of tea and, and connect on a, on a deeper level.